have you invested in hdfc capital builder fund then you should watch this video because i'm just going to do a review on how this fund is all about including expense ratio and comparison with other funds hi hello this is ganesh santhuru your stock market profit coach and author of the book one page mutual fund plan if you want to buy this book please go and check it out in the description section and let's go and check it out this particular fund how much it has fared well in the last few years because it is one of the oldest fund uh, started in 1994 almost like 27 years and still now this fund is running if somebody is asking you like can mutual fund withstand for the next 20 30 years just show this fund almost like started in 1994 almost like 27 years and still running strong so this is how the fund will perform even for the next 20 years the asset size will increase it will go through so many things and this fund is pure value fund meaning if value is there they'll just go and buy and they hold on to the stock for a longer period of time that is how they make money they just generate returns so let's look into the uh, scheme objective and all these things in money control website our favorite website so that you get an idea so just look at returns wise uh, let me show the returns it's a dampener i will say because it's one of the oldest but the returns has been very very conservative to moderate because certain funds will be uh, they stick to whatever they are used to it because they won't be aggressive and this fund is a value fund and they are very much value meaning that they exist mostly in the large cap stock i will say because let's look at the portfolio almost 98.5% in indian stocks 62% in large cap meaning more than 60% in large cap and they just give standard returns which says that and 11% in mid cap 13% in small cap when you compare this returns with uh, allocation with uh, lnt india value fund or icic prudential value discovery fund they used to monitor and change such that the mid cap and small cap is also value is there and they generate returns and, the, and if you look at the last 6 months the mid and small cap is in particular has given generated large returns but this fund this capital builder value fund exists mostly in large cap so that is the reason it didn't perform even in the last one year i will say right and let's look at the scheme details and other returns in the pr comparison next if you look at started in 1995 1994 and the expense ratio is still 2% and in this category the average expense is 1.96% under 2 whereas this is just about it's not very much huge difference but just look at the difference and uh, and one of the lowest expense ratio fund is icici prudential value discovery fund uh, i love that fund because it has been in the market since i think 2004 i think and it has generated more than average is 12 to 14 in the last since inception it is it is i think around 18% so that is one of the good fund which in the top performing in this category and asset size is huge for uh, icici prudential value discovery fund whereas this fund it has generated on par returns i will say and uh, maybe around 14% let's look at the historic returns and comparative data if you look at hdfc capital the asset size is just 5060 crores and the top of top in this category is around icici prudential which is around 21000 crores next is lnt india value fund and then uta value opportunities and then comes the hdfc if you look at the returns also uh, last one year idfc has generated 90% and icici has given 52% just look at two years returns of icici 29% and 10 years returns is 17.63 best and idfc is almost close with 16.4% and lnt has given 18.42 so all these are around 16 17 18 18, which is good whereas our hdfc capital builder fund is 14.74 and even since inception in 27 years which is around 14% so which is above benchmark benchmark is just 12% this fund is giving 14% and they exist mostly in the large cap large cap category which is the reason for this fund not generating higher alpha meaning higher returns benchmark is 12 uh, and this is giving 14.74 which is around 15 let's take 15% whereas if you had invested in some other value fund category it would have given you even much bigger returns uh, so this is how this fund has performed in the last uh, 26 27 years and this is a value fund category which you can also look at so if you ask me the verdict or something like uh, can i invest if you are somebody conservative moderate not conservative if you are moderate you can exist in this fund and say you are looking for better returns and i need i can take more risk in that category you can always switch over to uh, either hdfc mid cap opportunities inside the fund category itself 
and right now if you ask me it is better to be in this fund itself because mid and small cap may correct in the coming days and uh, uh, large cap may perform for the next one or two years it is better to stick with this fund because large cap may not deteriorate much and that is uh, maybe for the next few years so uh, don't ch frequently churn the comp churn the funds may because of that and we may never know how the fund is performing and it is difficult to gauge because uh, right now uh, we are looking at the data which which is posted based on the last month data and in this month whatever changes the fund manager is doing we will be coming to know only in the next month so don't decide anything based on this if your fund is on par it, it is around hdfc capital builder value fund is around 15% whereas if you look at other value fund it is around uh, say 16 17 it is okay one or two percent it's okay your fund may not be at the top of the category all the time remember and if it is in the top three or if the difference is just one or two percent it's okay if you keep changing maybe in the next two to five years this hdfc capital builder value fund may give you 17 percent and the fund where you transfer that may come back to 14 percent and then you will try to change it right so this can happen to any category but right now if you had already invested see what is the fund returns and if it is very very moderate and if you can take higher risk uh, maybe think about switching not at this moment hold on and the market based on market conditions you can switch and even if it is a long term maybe you can switch and do whatever right so approach a distributor or ask a financial advisor if you have been uh, consulting and doing if any other help needed if any questions you can always post your uh, comment post it in the comment i'll be happy to help you in this regard right thank you so much for watching